Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be decluttering my closet following the KonMari method. So sometime last month, I binge watched uh, Tidying Up with Marie Kondo on Netflix and ever since then, I've been super inspired to just organize my room and clean out my stuff. But I've just been too busy to do that and now literally in two days, I'm moving to Mumbai. So I need to pack my stuff and I thought this was a good time to also declutter my closet. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So a lot of people might relate to this, but I'm a big time hoarder and I literally I have things from like 10 years ago that don't even fit me anymore uh, but I don't feel like throwing them away because I feel like someday they might fit me so my closet is full of those things so hopefully uh, today I'm gonna take out some of those things and make more space in my closet so every year during Diwali I actually do like a closet cleaning and take out things that I don't wear but yeah I still feel like I have too many things that I don't use anymore and it's really frustrating because in my closet I literally can't find anything and it's just organized in a really bad manner so today we're gonna do some major organizing of my closet so before I start I'm gonna actually show you my closet and please don't judge me for this because it's actually quite messy and I won't wear too many things but let's go give you a tour of my closet now so yeah this is my closet so there are clothes in this section over here and on top there some clothes here some clothes there and bags over there so this section is where most of my nice clothes are. It's not really organized nicely but these are all my dresses and jumpsuits and here you have all my tops. So they're not really organized that well but uh, these are all my sleeveless tops. These are like my regular t-shirts and tops. These are full sleeved and there are things in the back as well. So you've got sweatshirts here and some clothes there as well which I literally can't even see. On the side here are ghar ke kapde, which I basically wear at home. Some more tops over here. These are all some Indian clothes and clothes that don't really fit me anymore. Over here I've got some more Indian clothes and here I've got my bags. Uh, my bags are sort of organized, so I'm not really going to touch that. So this section used to be full of my camera equipment but I got a separate drawer for that now. So uh, thankfully I have some extra space here. So today I'm not really going to bother with these drawers and that section even though that needs some tidying up. Uh, but I'm just going to do my clothes. So all of these, actually that section isn't clothes either. That and these three sections. Apart from that mess, I also haven't unpacked after my last trip. So I have clothes over here as well. So we're going to sort this out too. So these are more or less all the clothes that I have. And I think they are sort of somewhat organized because I do have categories and stuff. But I think my biggest problem is that I can't really... Uh, see most of the things that I have because of how I've stacked them and one thing Marie Kondo says is that uh, you should organize your things so that you can see everything in one go so I'm not sure that's going to be possible but I'm going to try so yeah as you saw it's not very organized I have way too many clothes I honestly don't even know what all clothes I have so gonna start uh, with the cleaning process now so there are three broad steps to this KonMari method of tidying up the first is that you tidy up by category not by location so the KonMari method has five categories there's clothes Clothing, books, paper, kumono which is miscellaneous items and sentimental items. For the purpose of today's video I'm just going to be doing clothing because I think I'm sort of organized in the other uh, aspects and I also don't have the time. But it's important to follow the order of these items because uh, you start off with things that are more materialistic and easier to part with and then move on to things that are harder to part with like sentimental items. The second step is to break these categories into subcategories. So there are different subcategories that she recommends but I'm not going to be following that. I'm going to do my own thing. So I'm going to broadly divide it into clothes that I'm going to leave at home and clothes that I'm going to take to Mumbai and within that I'm going to divide it into like tops, bottoms, jeans, shorts, skirts and stuff like that basically. And the third step which is the most important step is to keep only those things that spark joy. So you basically have to hold each item and ask yourself does this spark joy and if it does you keep it and if it doesn't you let it go. Another part of this step is to actually thank each item that you're letting go of. So Marie Kondo says you should do this because you're basically thanking the item uh, for serving its purpose and it actually might make it easier to let go of that item so yeah these are the three broad steps that we're going to be following today and the first thing we're going to do is basically clear out the entire closet and put everything on the bed this is actually a really important step because to properly tidy up you need to visually see and grasp the volume of your belongings and just see how many things you actually have and i've never done this before so i'm going to empty out my closet now and dump everything on my bed Thank you. 
Oh my god, I knew I had a lot of clothes but this I was not expecting. Loki, I'm regretting doing this because this is a lot of clothes, it's gonna take a lot of time but also I feel kind of guilty because I still complain about how I have nothing to wear when I have so many options but honestly at least 50% of these clothes don't fit me so I think I should get rid of them. Also I was kind of hoping to wrap this up in like 2-3 hours but uh, it's definitely not gonna be possible on my own so I think I'm gonna get some help. Hi. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> So I've got my mom here who's gonna help me clean. Kitna time lagi ga lagte aapko? I don't know. Char panch ghante lag raha hai. Jis tarah se itne sare kapde hain iske. So yeah, we should get started now. Yeah, I know. So right now the clothes are sort of in a random mess. There's no category, and yeah, everything is just mixed up. So instead of starting with categories, what I'm gonna do is go through each item. See if it sparks joy and sort of just discard things that I don't want and then start organizing uh, everything that's left. This is actually new, I've never worn this and it does spark joy so I'm gonna keep this. This again I just recently bought and it does spark joy so I'm gonna keep this as well. So this leather jacket I actually bought I think 4-5 years ago and I haven't worn it that much but it's sort of tight for me and it looks like it's a little spoilt as well. So I'm gonna have to let this go. So I have to thank this before I let it go. So thank you for serving your purpose. And I'm gonna keep all the discarded clothes on this bean bag. So I've actually never worn this sweater before and this was a hand-me-down from my aunt and it's kind of cute so I think I'm gonna keep this. up from Hong Kong and I quite like it. This is one of my college sweatshirts from Elisa. It says Nerds for Life and on the back it has all these like funny economics related references. So I'm definitely gonna keep this and all my Elisa sweatshirts. Here's a top that I bought from Sorogi like four years ago I think. I've never worn this so this is brand new and it fits me so I'm gonna keep this. Okay so I've more or less gone through most of the things but they're taking up so much space on my bed so I think I'm gonna start arranging them in the cupboard as well so there's some space on my bed to work with. So these are all my dresses and I've sort of color coordinated them so we start with the dark ones, black ones and then move on to the white ones. So I've folded all my clothes and created different subsections. So these are all the clothes that either did not spark joy or did not fit me. So I'm getting rid of these six piles here. And here are the clothes that I'm keeping. So I have different sections here like sleeveless tops, uh, full sleeve tops, half sleeve tops, party tops, uh, gym wear, pants and so on. So these are all the clothes that I plan to take to Mumbai but I think these are more clothes than my uh, luggage allowance allows so I'm going to do a bit of shortlisting from this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start arranging all of these things in my closet now. And I am finally done. This is what my closet looks like right now and I'm honestly so happy with how neat and organized this looks. So the middle section here has a few dresses and jumpsuits and some tops. Here I've got all my winter clothes which I've arranged on the top because I don't really need winter clothes that much. This section here has all my sleeveless tops and the section underneath it has all my half sleeve tops. And right underneath it is where all my Indian clothes are kept. Then I have a section for all my gym clothes and home clothes. Uh, so these are all my gym clothes and these are all my ghar ke kapde. Here I have all my bottoms lined up. So I've got my jeans, leggings, different kinds of pants and all arranged over here. This bottom section is kind of random but I have all my sweatshirts, my kimonos and my scarves arranged over here and of course my hat. 
that was so 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 satisfying and my mom was right it did take us like five six hours but totally worth it i don't know why i didn't do this earlier but i'm so glad i finally got down to doing this and i feel so light and my closet is so spacious and so neat and organized i don't think it's ever been that neat so i'm very very happy and the best part is i can actually see everything that i own so i know what all clothes i have and that's just awesome so i managed to discard a lot of clothes and i'm going to be doing a bunch of different things with those clothes first Firstly, I'm going to be giving some of those to my younger cousins. So in my family, we sort of uh, hand down clothes to each other. So a lot of clothes I own actually belong to my aunts. So I'm going to do that with some of the clothes and all the other clothes I'm going to be donating to charity. And I have done this in the past, uh, but I'm very happy about this whole process. And I genuinely feel so light and positive and happy. And I definitely recommend you guys to try this out as well. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, press the bell button and I will see you guys next time. Bye!